Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Fighters All-Star video and today's video is all about Ultimate Terry Bogart. However, this video is not going to be the ultimate video that I would like to provide because I am kind of feeling sick, uh, I have fever and my body hurts a lot. But still I wanted to show you that how uh, A5 Terry feels like and how he looks like in the gameplay and what can be the points of enjoyment with his gameplay what are can be some issues uh, how what type of in what way he does the damage i mean these sort of things guys so first of all let's go to the kit of the character and just i'll just quickly talk about the main features of this character that is this character is mainly going to be a, a, a damage dealer through his active skills and if you go to his skill info his active 3 skill this is the most powerful skill in his kit this is also a strike skill and all of his skills are actually strike skills so this skill number 3 and active skill and uh, strike skill these are the three elements that you need to consider and concentrate on and it is kind of easy to build his kit and you know equip certain plugins or equip certain features to his character uh, to his kit it is kind of easy because all you need to concentrate on active three skill and strike skill that's that's all he doesn't have any other gimmick like for example doing a finisher that will increase the attack or doing some other skills that is going to attack no other skill is not even going to support because for example you see active one skill he's going to apply stun and he's going to obtain uh, upon use obtain four percent power that is pg okay that's all it is not going to provide any sort of support to the damage active two skill this also what is going to do? Up on use recovers HP. And cooldown is applied regardless of the effect. Anyways. So this uh, also super armor, hyper armor, that's a different thing. But you can see that most in most characters' cases, what we see, we see some sort of skills that is going to uh, you know increase the target's damage receive or something, this sort of thing. Some skills are going to give the attack buff. But in case of Terry, everything is here. This is charge skill and if you do the charging, it is going to decrease the enemy's defense by 80%, increase the damage received by 100% for 13 seconds and also remove target's guard. And as a result, the power stream is going to be activated that is going to deal physical damage equal to 5000% of attack to the target. So this is the main thing and that makes his kit kind of comprehensive to build and work with and if you go to your core you'll see that his main phantom ultimate break this is the main thing it is also going to increase strike skill damage by a certain percentage and that is going to last for 10 seconds and 50 percent when it is going to reach tier 3 that means awaken level 90 and of course his main skill or the main damage dealing skill that we talked about before this active 3 skill is definitely a strike skill so some other couple of things i want to talk about the core that is his increased attack is just uh, on par with characters like athena and benimaru and also adelheid uh, for a certain reason this attack percentage are not higher than them. So if you are uh, Already having those characters you have the same percentages one False part or on one false move in his kit. That is basic move this score Increases basic attack damage by 1500 percent cumulative amount. That's for sure, but This basic attack is not supported by anything at all 
and his basic attacks i wanted to play with his basic attacks but he is not even effective at all so i think in my humble opinion that that small part of the core is a kind of a waste now let me just show you the gameplay that i recorded earlier for you and we'll talk about some of the features of this character and some of the problems that i was facing the first problem let me t uh, take, take you to the guild team and show you the first problem that I faced. <coughs> Sorry. And the first and foremost problem with this character is the lack of good strikers. You see that only I have this character uh, that is uh, Oswald. Unfortunately, I couldn't manage many copies of Os Oswald. That that's why Oswald is kind of only level le leveled at Awakened level 1. And none of these recent fighters, I don't really have them. But that's not even my problem because he actually has a very low number of, you know, you know, linked effect with many fighters. I talked about it in my previous videos. I knew that if I summon this fighter, I'm going to fa face this damn problem. And looks like the problem is real, real. And this striker actually makes a big difference in terms of damage output. But other than that, I'm using the same team combination that I previously used with Psyche. So I haven't really optimized the team or haven't really uh, done a lot of research at all. So let me just, you know, play the game. Uh, the guild boss challenge. Let's do it. You see this big skill, this surrounding skill, this is the skill number 3, this is the damage dealing skill and this is a charging skill. This effect you can do 24-7, each and every time this skill has resetted its cooldown, if you tap long press, it will last for quite a long amount of time, it will do damage as well and this is a very powerful skill. The character is kind of uh, protected also, I think. Let's watch next. So, you know, I'm just wasting my time. I'm waiting for his awaken rotation. And once his awaken is ready, I'm immediately going to switch to my uh, support character. And then I'll proceed further. Using their support skill, uh, decrease damage received to the boss then I will switch back to Terry and do his phantom skill. Let's watch this guy. Alright, cast me in now we are going to apply the buff then we are going to tag out Kazmi and Terry is going to get in and what I'm going to do I'm going to immediately switch to this phantom and awakening skills and press his third skill long press and when you do this phantom awakening skill first you'll see that then if you press this third skill long time it will last even longer time and also the damage numbers will be will be higher we just uh, turned on both awakening and phantom awakening skills now we are going to straight away long press skill number 3 it's quite a long time for quite a long time the skill keeps hitting the enemy continuously guys.
Okay. However, the gameplay I did is not efficient at all. I usually do a little bit better than this, but today I was kind of feeling bad. But the point is, I think this character is going to do a little bit better in game modes that has uh, certain requirements with momentum and overpower, like Age Challenge, Guild Boss Challenge, uh, these sort of game modes, and also Plug-in Plant. And yesterday I was able to automatically farm uh, plug-in plants uh, chapter uh, tire number three without even getting bothered about anything that was so easy for him the rotation would be First you press this awaken, then you press this uh, phantom awaken, then long press uh, skill number 3 and you will see that it, it, it will end, at some point the duration will end, right? Then press skill number 1, then once again long press skill number 3, press again when it ends, once again press skill number 1, then again press, press skill number 3, long press. This is the rotation guys. And the mission clear 2.4 is not too much I, I usually ca I can get better with Psyche but remember that Psyche is a level 90 character and this character is a baby is a baby with a level 50 is a he is a baby he is not even grown up so I am looking forward to really high damage numbers at least in this game mode but let's proceed further and see what we can do against Rugal However, we are using the same rotations that we used with Psyche, the same characters, same way of playing. And now, Kazmi is here, the meter will be broken by Kazmi, and Terry is going to appear in the battlefield. And we are going to do the same thing, straight away we are going to turn on the Phantom Awakening and Awakening skill, then long press, skill number 3, and whenever the charging skill ends, press skill number 1, and immediately long press again skill number 3 that should be ready by that so let's go and see somehow whenever you press skill number 1 and you press back skill number 3 it will start activating. I haven't uh, seen anything uh, in skill number 1 that is actually going to reset skill number 3 but probably that is somehow related with the core. Now in this regard guys I haven't really figured out the final best rotation which is going to be. Probably this is going to be the rotation but if you have any suggestion if any one of you are having any better idea let me know in the comments.
see guys the uh, size of this skill is so big whenever you press this phantom awaken skill and normally if you press skill number three if you normally long press the skill number three that is also going to create a something aura like skill but there is going to be smaller in size so this one is the bigger and this one is higher in terms of damage uh, and its duration is also longer so this is a stronger version and this looks absolutely majestic and uh, as i told you that it doesn't waste any time at all In terms of his gameplay and in terms of his uh, the feelings about executing the skill, he is so satisfying. Of course, like most uh, ultimate characters, is very strong. And the problem uh, there is can be another problem about this character that is, his most of his skills are not really long ranged. That means the enemy or the boss has to stay closer. So, unless the boss is, uh, you know, in a broken mood, sometimes the boss will move. If the boss is not in a broken mood, the boss will move. And I kind of experienced that whenever the boss moves, he kind of moves away from the skill. So, what, whenever that, this thing happens, you have to press skill number one. So, skill number one is something that is going to bridge the gap between the boss and you. So, he's going to, you know do a flying kick and he's going to reach the boss again so that's the thing uh, that's a little bit of problem but at the same time there's a solution too very powerful character to be honest and I'm not going to uh, talk about the damage numbers because honestly the character is still are at a very young stage uh, so it is kind of uh, it remains to be seen that how far we will be able to go with the damage numbers but in terms of gameplay he is amazing and very easy to play with especially if you are uh, playing a certain game mode that has a lot of mobs he is a very very efficient mob killer he can you know pull the enemies together uh, uh, to, uh, whenever his skill number three is going to be in action so he's kind of uh, very good at dealing with mobs and as you saw that he can handle the bosses pretty easy 
and I'm really curious to see that how far his damage numbers is going to be as soon as I, I'll be able to um, upgrade this fighter and add some good plugins I think his damage numbers will also go very high because as I said before that his kit is very uh, concentrated and a couple of things and if we can buff up those couple of things that is his active 3 skill, attack, uh, strike skill, normal uh, 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 critical rate, critical damage, these sort of things if we can combine them properly he is going to be a very high damage dealing character. So thank you for watching, uh, don't forget to support the content, support the channel and let me know what you think about this character, if you are having this character, how uh, are you feeling about the character, let me know in the comments and I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos, till then stay awesome and peace out my friends.